everybody. It is Connie with the Artisan Company. Welcome back to the channel. Today, the project is so much fun, so dainty, so beautiful. And the inspiration came from doing a simple repair on someone else's necklace. Oh my gosh. Anyway, from pearls and wood to pearls and turquoise. So let's go look at it. Okay, we're going to get started on this uh, little project. Um, I was, what even triggered me to do this project was because I was doing a repair job for a friend of mine on a necklace that she had that had some wood in it and some little small pearls. And the pearls triggered my mind's eye to go, oh, delicate. Oh, turquoise. So <laughs> I started digging through my drawers and I had just bought this turquoise about two, three weeks ago. And the pearls I had bought a little while ago, but I was holding on to them because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. So I thought pearls and turquoise, gotta love it. Uh, so I thought, all right, I'll do maybe a 16, 17 inch necklace. I think I have enough to do that. But when I got to work in, I thought, okay, I need to add just an, a, another color for an offset. And I wanted to do amethyst, but uh, I didn't have amethyst, but I had fluorite. <laughs> so I had some little tiny fluorite chips. And, you know, a lot of times fluorite can be mistaken for amethyst, especially when you get into these darker colors like this. But to me, in my thought pattern, fluorite is just a little more uh, lighter in color. And it you can see how it graduates out here into a almost clear see-through color. So you have some striations in fluorite that are different looking than amethyst. So I thought, oh, hot dog. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then I knew I wanted to use these gold, the 11.0, and these bronze. I knew that for sure. And of course, I got my little bead caps for slivers of light um, and my pearls here. So you will need uh, some beading wire, fine beading wire, uh, whatever stone you're looking for here. I chose turquoise and I chose fluorite, uh, some pearls, and my pearls are 4.5 millimeter pearls, these little freshwater ones right here. The gold and the bronze beads are 11.0 seed beads so those little tiny you know things you need a magnifying glass for <laughs> anyway my bead caps here are about a three millimeter roughly uh they're they're tiny uh, little things so once i laid it out because this is such a detailed little itty titty 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 tiny things i went ahead and laid it out um in the pattern that i wanted and you can do this on a bead board if you'd prefer um this is just the way that I was taught to do it. So this is how I'm doing it. Um, but um, anyway, and I wanted to alternate the bronze beads with the gold beads. I, I, I wanted it to be dark into light. That, that was where I was going, dark into light. So there's where I'm headed. Uh, I hadn't picked out my clasp yet, so I'm going to wait till the end to do that. But I'm going to get started on it. And I've got a little section right here started, and oh, my stars, people, is it tedious. Um, you can see I got a little tiny section started right there. And uh, oh, it's tedium. It is tedium. It's such a random pattern, but I like it. And I think once it's done, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So... Let's get some beading going. I'm going to bead a little bit of it for you guys who like to watch that process. Uh, hopefully I will keep my hands in the camera. My husband's always saying that. It's like, you've got to keep your hands in the camera. Um, so I'm doing my best. So I've got a gold seed bead. I've got a pearl. I've got the bronze seed bead. Then I'm going to do the piece of fluorite then i'm doing a little bead cap here gold i can get it on there the piece of turquoise another little bead cap I'll turn him over here 
Hope I'm putting these on right. I'm going to string it down. And I'm glad I am checking it because here I go. I put that bead cap right there is on backwards. Hello. And I knew it when I did. I said, why am I doing that? And I did it anyway. <laughs> so I got to take it off and redo it. All right. Let me move this camera up just a little bit here so I don't get my hands out of the screen. All right. Let me do this again. All right. Let me start over. Okay, face the piece. I probably need to get my magnifying glass over here so I can see this. All right, face the bead. Yes. Well, can't pick him up. So I'm going to do my trusty needle right here and I'm going to flip him over. There he goes. Flip him over. Get on there. Ooh, these things are tiny, people. They are tiny. Oh, stars alive. Okay. I'm looking at my pattern here. I'm trying to make sure I haven't made any mistakes because it's such a random pattern. All right. That looks, looks good. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pick up my little gold bead. And put on my pearl. Where's my hole? Right there. All right, there it goes. All right, and I'm picking up my bronze bead. Picking up my fluorite. My bead cap. Boy, this little guy. My turquoise. My other bead cap. Ooh, that pattern is turning out beautiful. Okay, I'm back to my gold. I think I need to clip the very tip of my wire again. And I'm back over here at my pearl. Going into the bronze. Oops. Going into the fluorite. All right. Now at this juncture, the... Um, if you'll notice right here at this juncture, the bead cap color is changing. I decided to mix metals in this, so I'm uh, pulling in uh, the silver down here. I've already done a little little uh, trail of gold right here. I'm going into the silver now. It's changing its color. All right. And that's a, it's a subtle thing, however... It is something you will notice, but you, sometimes your eye doesn't detect what it is, but you know something's changed. You're like, ah, oh, there's something else there. Okay. Now I'm going into the gold again. He doesn't want to get down there. Look at that little guy. All right, come on. There he goes. All right, the gold, my pearl. I feel like I am all over the map with my hands today. Ah, I am not doing well with my hands today. All right. And there are days like that. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the bronze. And we're at the fluoride again. Turn it. 
back to my little bead cap. Got the two silver ones again. Turquoise. Oops, 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 oops. There, I did it again. I put the bead cap on backwards. Yeah, da, da, da. Let me take him off. Put him back on the other way. I'm not sure if I have my camera in the right place today. I don't know. Something's kind of wanky about it today. <laughs> And it would be wanky when I'm showing you something that's so ultra detailed. <laughs> that's the way it goes. <laughs> if it was big beads, you'd be all over they'd be all over the place, but there are all these little tiny things and the camera's wanky <laughs> in a wanky place. Oh my gosh. All right. So we're gonna go down here and pick up the gold. Again. The pearl. And these pearls are really pretty. They're a B-grade pearl, but I really do like them. They're not quite as irregular as some of the other grades, like the C and D grades, but I, I love them. I think they're really pretty. Um, I do have some that are oblong shaped, but these are a little more rounded for freshwater pearls, and I just love them. All right, fluorite. Get in there, baby. There we go. And we're over here with the bead caps again. <laughs> Put it on right this time, Shaw. There we go. Turquoise. And the little bead cap goes on the end right there. Ah, don't drop. All right. Come on. Don't, don't be cantankerous today. There it goes. All right. I'm almost to the end of the silver right here, getting ready to go into the gold. But here is what it looks like up close. Oh, my goodness. Is that not beautiful? Oh, my. It's so delicate, but yet it's just... Oh, every color pops. The, the gold makes the pearl, and the turquoise pop, and the bronze makes the fluorite pop it's like oh wow everything just works together yay okay so i'm gonna go ahead and bead down to the next pattern and then i will come back so you guys keep if you're doing it you keep beading too and then we'll get back okay so we're down into the gold and the pattern has changed again so we've gone into from let me see if i can get this up here for you a single uh, pearl to a double pearl right there. So I've added two pieces of fluorite instead of one to go with the amount of pearls that I'm adding. So that's what that little pattern right there looks like. And then I've got one more of this pattern right here, laid out here. Then I go into a three pearl pattern my little spit kitty's got a little hair in there <laughs> she leaves me presents <laughs> anyway okay and then it'll go from a two into a three back into a two two and then singles all the way out so um that's where we are so i'm going to add the gold i'm back at the beading part of it if i can get it in there come on all right hands in the camera all right there we go that one there's that little guy another pearl i can get him in there all right piece of fluorite boy my hands are slick today i don't know what's going on with them <laughs> But they are awfully slick. Everything's sliding off of them. I'm like, oh, goodness me. I can't hold on to anything. Let me try this again. 
There it is. Piece of turquoise. Back over here to the bead cap. Gosh. Y'all. You are going, man, she's having an off day today. Sometimes that does happen. <laughs> Occasionally it does. <laughs> so when it does, you just roll with it. You know, you can't, you can't have a fantastic day every single solitary day doing this stuff happens so you just roll with it when it does it's been rainy here all day too and a little gloomy and we've got a sick kitty and my husband and i are really concerned about it and um so my mind's a little preoccupied too with that and um She's not doing well, and I don't think she's going to be with us much longer. My heart breaks. But a friend of mine called me today, and she said that she had um, gotten something uh, from the Spirit of the Lord. And she said it helped her when she was trying to process why we lose so many things, you know, at one time. Because we've had a lot of loss in our family. And we'll be real honest with everybody. I probably shouldn't be at this point. But um, we've lost five of our fur babies in the last three years and three of my personal family members. And I'm thinking, boy, how much more? And she said that uh, she asked how many ways can a heart break and she said the spirit of the lord answered back and said in as many ways as you can love so i'm pondering her statement and i thought wow that's pretty profound so we've had many many fur babies so apparently we have the love for them um, and all of you who have pets know you know how difficult that can be so anyway i'm back here beating again on this hope i didn't share too much but you know just trying to be honest and transparent i'm just a little preoccupied right now with that okay so i've gotten past the middle and now the pattern is reversing back so we're going to have the uh, bronze bead first, then the gold bead on the little tiny seed beads, whereas on this side, it was the other way around. So I've passed the middle, and I'm going down this way right here. This is my center piece right here. Okay, so I had another pearl. I hope I didn't leave off something. And then I have a little gold seed bead. Pull him out right there. He's a little tiny guy. And we'll put him on there. And then another pearl. Oh my goodness. I am so loving this, y'all. This is just so daggone beautiful. Oh my. It is so daggone beautiful. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put on a little bead caps right here. Okay. All right. Make sure they're all on there right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, wow. I am so glad I purchased these turquoise chunks. Aren't they beautiful? The color is just so rich. Oh, my heart is singing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish beating this all the way out. You guys finish what you're working on, and then we'll hook back up for the finishing off. All righty, we're at the tail end of this project, and I'm so excited. This has turned out unbelievably beautiful, more beautiful than I thought originally, so I'm really excited. 
I decided on a just a basic silver lobster claw clasp, um, kind of dainty since this is dainty. And um, but what I did do here is I decided because I've got gold coming up here on this side, I decided to go ahead and do a gold uh, finishing bead here, and then obviously my silver clasp and uh, bead cap that i bought bead cap but crimp cover <laughs> on this end here so i decided to go that route with this um so last thing is to put the clasp on and we'll be done yeehaw so let me get working on this real quick maybe i can do it quickly maybe i can't it's just <laughs> depends <laughs> all right so i got the crimp on i ran the clasp through i pull it back through and down because you want the crimp to go down to the finishing bead and pull that down remember you've got to leave some space right here so that your clasp will move around remember that okay i didn't quite leave as much as i wanted so let me back it out a little bit and for those of you who are new to this uh, I do have full tutorials on this kind of thing right here, doing crimps and other types of things. Um, they are on my website for sale. And I think it's about five hours worth of teaching. Um, when I had my storefront open, uh, I shot them during that time and i actually sold them as kits for different things but um now we've got them where you can just download them all right so back on this i'm going to close this crimp up right here and fold it over fold it good fold it good y'all fold it good all right got it then I'm going to run some of this excess back through, not all of it, but just some of it to reinforce. Uh, this part right here probably takes a little longer because I have bead caps on here and they're little tiny little things. So <laughs> it takes a little bit longer to get them to go through with the bead caps and all the other small things that are on here. So give me a moment or two. To finish that and if I find that it's taking me too much time I will stop and come back when it's done all right I'm working here right through here maybe I can get through to this next piece of turquoise that's where I'm headed if I can make it that far Tiny, tiny, tiny little holes. This is a fine beading wire, by the way, as well. Especially with pearls, because the holes are so tiny in pearls. Uh, most of the time they use thread, but I didn't want to use thread with this. Partially because of the roughness of the turquoise uh, and the fluorite stones. Thread, you can do thread. There's not an issue with that at all. But just be aware of the wear and tear as people wear it. So, all right, this one's going to be just a little tough right there. He didn't want to go through that pearl. And it's okay if it doesn't. I may just clip it right there and be done. Yeah, I think it's going to be tight right there. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to clip it as flush as I possibly can. All right. Because you don't want anything sticking out. You don't want it to poke anybody. Last thing is putting my little crimp cover on here.
close it up very gently. And remember to always make sure that the end where the little pieces come together right there, that it's smooth, that you've got them even. That way um, it won't be rough on someone's neck. It'll be even. All right. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited, guys. Yay. This project is done. Let me scoot these little guys over and these little guys over so you can actually see what we've done. All right. Yay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, people. Look at this. Oh, look how beautiful it turned out. Oh, my goodness. That fluorite was just the right thing. When I didn't have amethyst, I thought, oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to use that because I had some dark pieces. Oh, my. I'm thrilled. I'm excited. I hope your project turned out thrilling for you. And this will be in the shop for sale pretty soon at theartisancompany.com. So you can go and check that out. I will see you guys at the next project. Bye.